My sister Christina went by Tina. She was the most amazing little sister I could have asked for. We were best friends. Christina's sister, Shannon, sent us this statement as she grieves an unimaginable loss. Last week, Christina was murdered in her own home in Florence. Her husband, Javier Lopez, is now in jail, accused of stabbing her 38 times the day after arguing over custody. Deputies say Javier took one of their sons to visit Christina, but told the boy to stay in the car. The boy told investigators he later heard his mother screaming and crying inside the house and saw Javier walk out shirtless with blood on his chin. The boy then asked Javier if he hurt his mom, and Javier said no. However, later on, Javier told deputies Christina admitted to being in a relationship with another man, and he said he started stabbing after becoming upset. And on average in Arizona, we, we unfortunately have experienced the death of around 100 people each year. Jenna Panis with the Arizona Coalition to End Sexual Domestic Violence says while that number doesn't seem big for our state's population, domestic violence is underreported and it still impacts the surviving families. Christina's sister telling us, this horrific incident has shattered my parents and her family and I promise I will fight for the rest of my life to make sure that man never gets out of prison. And if you or anyone you know is in a domestic violence situation, you can call the number on the bottom of your screen. And Tina's family also set up a GoFundMe to help her children and cover the legal and funeral costs. We have that link on our website, azfamily.com. Just click on the Scene on TV tab. Nicole. Casey, thank you. How